we just wanna welcome everyone online. Thank you so much for joining us. Such an honor for you to worship with us. Um, as I was thinking this morning, as I was with the Lord, I said to him, how can we come in your presence and minister to your heart, Jesus? He is so worthy to be praised. In Psalm 33, verse one, it says, rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise from the upright is beautiful. Praise the Lord with the harp, make melody to him with an instrument of 10 strings. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his goodness. Lord, we worship you. Holy Spirit, show us the face of Jesus. Let us behold your glory tonight, Lord. Teach us how to worship you in spirit and truth, Lord. You are worthy. You are holy, Lord. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your sufferings, Lord. May you feel so loved tonight. Come and have your way, Jesus. We love you.
So. 
mercy spoke for me. It was on Golgotha Street. His death brought liberty. His death brought liberty. His death brought liberty. On a hill in Israel, mercy spoke for me. Mercy spoke for me. Mercy spoke for me. It was on Golgotha Street. His death brought liberty. His death brought liberty. His death brought liberty. May I never boast in anything except the cross of Jesus Christ. May I not forget the blood he shed. It is by his death I am alive. Because of Christ, I am Love that washed me clean What a blessing me 
our thanksgiving to the Lord. Jesus, we are so thankful. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for saving our souls. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep lifting your thanksgiving. Keep praying. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to take the next 30 seconds, just pray in the Holy Ghost all over the room.
just pray in the spirit for a moment.
Can we just say thank you to what he's doing in the room? Thank you for the freedom, Lord, that you've brought. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Jesus, we ask you, continue what you're doing tonight. As we look in this baptismal waters, Lord, I ask you to keep on coming, Lord. We're so hungry for you. Meet every person that's come to meet you today, Jesus. We love you. In your matchless, mighty name we pray, amen. I'll welcome you back to your seats, all right? And in that heart posture of thanksgiving, I just, I just keep hearing the Lord say, I've ransomed you. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just feel the pleasure of the Lord in the room. I thank you so much for entering in when he meets us here and we worship him like that. I just feel his delight. And so I just wanna open up in scripture um, on that topic of um, the ransom that he purchased for us. Um, I was reading before I came today in Mark 10, 45. And I, I was asking the Lord, what do you wanna talk about? What We know how to give to you, but what's on your heart, Lord? And he said, I paid your ransom. And I was like, okay. So I looked up the word ransom and he was reminding me of the faithfulness that I get to give to him because he paid my ransom. Like we're free. <laughs> and I know you feel it right now. I know that... The choir was feeling it. I know that we all can give the Lord a costly worship with our lips and we're jumping around and it's wonderful. But I wanna remember the reality. Like it's not just lip service. <sighs> we're free. And so I can come, overcome with joy that he paid my ransom. A ransom is a debt owed to someone because they're in prison. It frees the prisoner. And so no longer do we have to come bound. We get to come freely with our offering to the Lord, which we've already begun. We've already done that. And we're continuing on now with our, with our worship as we give. And I just wanna share with you a quick testimony just to bring the Lord more glory before we step into giving. But this past week, a couple gave me their testimony that they had given to the building and it was all they had before they went. Um, they had saved up their money for their wedding and it was a little bit, but it was a lot to them. And the Lord said, give all. So they gave all and in an hour, 
the Lord quadrupled that money and someone else gave them quadruple the amount that they had given just because of the obedience. Yes, thank you, Lord. <clears throat> And so as we recount the testimony of what he's done in your life, just remember as you're bringing that offering to the bucket or you're scanning the QR code or whatever way you're giving, just remember that he freed you. <laughs> Sorry, I just feel the Lord. Um, and that there's so much joy in this offering and that he'll do it for you. Uh, let's pray. Oh Lord, I thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for what you're about to do. I thank you for every giver. Bless their hands, Lord. Increase it, Lord Jesus, for your glory, for the sake of the gospel, for your name, Lord. We give it to you. It's yours. We love you, Jesus. Amen. There's a few ways you can give. If you're watching online, you can text the number on your screen. If you're in the room, you can scan the QR code or text the number to give. Um, and if you need an envelope, if you wanna give by check, um, you can raise your hand and then Usher will bring you an envelope. Thank you.
Well, good evening, everyone. Can we give the Lord praise tonight? You're happy to be here. Thank you, Lord. Can we all stand, please? And Joel, would you help me, my friend? Let's just lift our hands to the Lord, offer our lives, our hearts, our bodies to the Lord Jesus. Precious Father, thank you for this wonderful, wonderful privilege to be in your presence once again. Thank you, Lord, for the invitation. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for being our way. Thank you for the veil of your flesh that has opened the way. And so tonight, Lord, we ask you, wonderful Holy Spirit, to come and fill this house, fill our lives, fill our minds, our bodies, fill this entire property with the tangible glory of the Lord. And may your blessing rest upon these waters, Lord. May the blessed power of the Holy Spirit come upon them. And as you hovered over the face of the deep in Genesis chapter 1, hover over these waters. And as I declare your word over the people being baptized, as you declared your word as the Spirit was hovering in Genesis 1 and the lights went on, may the light of the world, Jesus himself, come alive in everyone. Everyone who comes in the, into these waters, may they be set free from the powers of darkness. And may they come alive in Jesus. Come on, agree with me. May they come alive in Jesus. Charge these waters with the blessed power of the Holy Spirit. And I pray, Lord, that the angels of God would be encamped around this house. That this would be holy ground. And that we'd sense your holiness, that we would walk with an awareness that we are in your presence we give you all the praise and glory we thank you in advance for what you're going to do in jesus holy and precious name amen amen can we seal that with praise tonight thank you lord come on one more just lift an offering we give you all the glory all the glory all the glory belongs to you forever and ever well, I'd like to welcome the baptizees to the altar. Can you remain standing and welcome them, please? How wonderful. You can come as close as you can, please. Can we welcome them one more time? What a mighty victory. You can be seated in your seats. Those of you who've come forward, welcome. It's going to be glorious. And uh, everything changes tonight. Amen. Amen. I just have a few words I'd like to share with you. And then when we're through, you will declare one of the church's great creeds, the Nicene Creed. We'll all declare that together. And then we'll have the honor of serving the Lord and you and baptizing you in the holy waters of baptism and according to the scriptures and to the very body of Christ. What an honor. Amen. Holy Spirit, teach us now. Give us a heavenly appreciation for what is about to happen. Give us eyes to see in the Spirit. I'm reminded of the prophet's servant, Lord, who was afraid of the enemy. And your servant said, let him see that there are more for us than against us. Lord, give us a heavenly, holy vision of what's about to happen tonight. That this is a place where heaven and earth meet. Show us that there is but one worship service, not two, not one in heaven and not one here. But we've come to the holy mountain tonight, not made with human hands. We come to the heavenly Zion. And thank you, Lord, that these are not mere waters, but that the powers of darkness will be left in them, and those who go into them will come forth in your radiant light, the light of the Holy Spirit. Give us a sense of holiness tonight. 
Let it be a taste of heaven. Can we ask for that in faith? Let this be a taste of heaven tonight. Let it be different than the world. Wonderful Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Everyone said, Amen. The word baptism means to be thrust into, to be submerged into. And John the Baptist said of the Lord, he said that there was one coming after him who would baptize us in the Holy Spirit and fire. And John before that said, I baptize you in water. This water baptism is the perfect picture that John uses to explain Holy Spirit baptism. In every baptism, there is the baptizer, there is the baptizee, there is the element that you're baptized into, and then there is the result or the fruit of that baptism. In Holy Spirit baptism, Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. The element is the Holy Spirit himself. The baptizee is us, and the result is power to be a witness. Amen. Tonight, as it pertains to the baptism in water, the element is water for a specific reason. In Genesis chapter 1, as I mentioned earlier, the Holy Spirit hovered above the waters. And since that day, the waters of baptism, waters in general, have been a blessing. They have been kissed by the Holy Spirit. And there is no difference today. The, while the element is water, the baptizers will be us, our team, you are the baptizee, and the result, listen very carefully, is absolutely glorious. Let me read to you some of the results. According to 1 Peter 3, you will receive a cleansed conscience tonight. Oh, isn't that a gift? Isn't that a gift up there in the balcony? Isn't that a gift? To go to bed at night with a cleansed conscience. According to Colossians 2.21, we are buried with the Lord in baptism. You are identifying with the Lord Jesus himself. I want you to think about the honor that this is. I'd like the whole house to hear this tonight. We are literally following the pattern of our heavenly master. Isn't that wonderful? That Jesus set this holy, wonderful sacrament in motion. And while Jesus did not need the baptism of repentance, he didn't need the repentance piece, he was still baptized to identify with us. And so tonight, you are identifying with him in his burial. This is incredible. That means that the Lord is going to do much more for you tonight than merely help you along or change you. You are going to die in those waters and come out in newness of life. We are buried with him, and according to verse 21 of Colossians 2, raised with him through faith. Not through the tank, through faith. What does that mean? Do not approach the waters haphazardly. Come to those waters knowing that the Lord Jesus is going to do the work. Come to Jesus in those waters. And for those of you in the crowd tonight who have been struggling with sin, those of you who are in process, those of you who feel like you're being oppressed by devils, I've met some of you over the last few weeks. You've said, I can feel demonic warfare. I'm, uh, some of you are on a journey. I want to encourage you, get baptized in water and watch the Lord slaughter the power of those devils and leave them in the water. According to Ephesians 4, verses 4 through 6, there is one body, one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all, through all, and in all. Tonight you will be baptized into the very church of God, into the faith, and into the body of the Lord Jesus. What an incredible privilege. According to Acts 22, verse 16, your old life is washed away. 
Listen to what verse 16 says. And now, what are you waiting for? And I want to say that to anybody in this crowd. Please don't sprint and jump into the tank. <laughs> Sign up. <laughs> but I want to ask this question. What are you waiting for? It's what the scriptures say here. Get up, be baptized, and wash or cleanse your sins away, calling on the Lord's name. Thank you, Lord. How powerful. As I said earlier, according to Galatians 3, you are baptized into Christ himself. For all of you were baptized into Christ. All of you who have been have clothed yourselves with Christ. Tonight you will receive a new garment. In the ancient baptisms, we don't do that anymore. I'm, I'm quite happy about this part. They would baptize people without clothing. <laughs> we love the ancient church, but we're going to stick with this protocol for now. I'm good. <laughs> if that happens, I'll be baptizing you with a blindfold. <laughs> but in the ancient church, they would baptize them with no clothing and then cloak them in a white robe when they came up. And tonight you'll receive new garments. The precious garments of the Spirit. You will put on Christ. You'll be clothed in Christ. Now over the years, I think the first time we did this as a church family, it's before we knew we were a church. I think it was Jesus 18. It was me and Ben Fitz. Outside at St. Andrews. Was anybody there that night? Okay, some of us were there. How many? Wait, put your hands back up. All right. Ben Fitz and I were there, and he had his special shorts on <laughs> that said, love your neighbor across the back. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Interesting design. But I'll never forget a few people coming in, manifesting demons on the way in, coming out of the water, speaking in tongues. Devils tremble at what's about to happen tonight. The powers of darkness are going to be shattered. As I said, you'll be baptized into his death. Romans 6, verse 3. Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many of you, I believe, when you, maybe even prior to getting to the waters or as you're in the waters or as you come out of the waters, the power of the Holy Spirit's going to come upon all of you. And I'm praying that, that the very life of the Trinity would fill you and that you'll know that that blessed heavenly dove won't just hover, but land on a life and remain. Amen. Before we do this, it's very imperative that you come into covenant with the Lord tonight. And this is the serious part that I need to make sure you're aware of before I do this, because I'll be held accountable for doing this. Jesus is an all or nothing Lord. He wants all. You, um, it'd be so much better if you feel like you're not ready tonight, you won't offend me, you won't offend the team. If you're doing this for any other reason, maybe your parents want you to do it or family member wants you to do it, you can just whisper to somebody as you, as you line up. You can just say, I'm not ready for this. But this, these are marital waters. These are bridal waters. It's why John said while he was baptizing people in water, he who has the bride is the bridegroom. That's why Esther had to bathe before she approached the king. The waters of baptism are marital. They are covenantal. This is an all or nothing deal. And in Christian marriage, the bride loses her last name and takes on the name of the husband. Tonight you're losing your old identity and you're taking on the name of the bridegroom. This is more than all or nothing. This is a spiritual mystery that is glorious. But you need to know what you're doing. You're devoting your life to the Lord Jesus forever. It means that 
until the day you die, you will cling to Jesus more than anyone. It means that Jesus is Lord over your life, above your family. It means that Jesus is worth worldly ridicule. It means that Jesus is worth being you being hated and misunderstood by a world that hates him. You're entering into another place, another kingdom, and that kingdom is in the spirit. But you need to know that, that tonight it is all or nothing. So before I go any further, is that all of your desire? Look, this is way more important than sitting in the exit row. Okay? So on a plane, they say, I need a verbal commit. Look, I need a verbal I need to know that this is what you want to do. Is this your desire to lose your life, even your natural life, if need be? Are you willing to lose your life for the Lord Jesus Christ completely? All of you. Okay. All right. I would like us all to stand, please. Isn't this wonderful? If we did have eyes... To see more clearly, if we could actually see what was going on, I think we'd be blown away by what we would behold tonight. Angels are rejoicing, angels are present, all of heaven is watching, and the demons in hell are quaking. The demons in hell are quaking as the ancient waters that brought judgment to the earth and Noah was preserved in the ark. The power of the devil is about to be dealt with through God's holy waters and you're going to find safety in the ark. Hell is weeping and travailing right now. They've been dealt a fatal blow by the power of the gospel. Oh, I feel the power of God already. And the, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hell has been dealt with in your lives and that's why some of you has had such a rocky road getting here because the devils of hell know what's about to happen now we're going to declare one of these creeds of the church and we're not going to declare it like we're at a funeral we're going to declare it with boldness and as we begin to talk about who Jesus is you mark my words you will feel the authority of God hit this building you will feel the atmosphere shift in this building as we declare our mighty king remember as you lift Jesus high, the Holy Spirit comes down. Are you ready? I want us to dec dec decree this with boldness and clarity. We believe in one God. We believe in one God. The Father. The, Father, the, Almighty, the Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth. Maker of, heaven and earth of, all that is, of all that is. Seen and unseen. Seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord. We Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Son of God eternally, begotten of the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, God, from God light, from light, light from light, true God from true God, God, from true God begotten, not made, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. With the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us and our salvation, us and our salvation. He, came he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, the the Holy Spirit. He, was he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. Was made man. For, our sake. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he, crucified under Pontius Pilate. He, suffered he suffered death and was buried. On the third day He rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, with the scriptures. He, ascended he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He, right the Father. he will come again. I'm going to say that again. He will, again. he will come again in glory, in glory. To, judge to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom, and his kingdom will, have no will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We the Lord, the, Lord the, giver life, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, from the Father. with the Father and the Son, the Father and the Son. He, is and he is worshiped and glorified. 
He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Now, for some of you who might be confused, uh, that word Catholic in the creed is not referring to Roman Catholicism. The word Catholici in Greek means wholeness. One worldwide whole church. One complete church. Can we give the Lord praise one more time? You're welcome to line up. Ushers, would you help me? We follow Dion here. Are you all ready? Judy, you better just get up there. You too, Amatron. Maybe Judy and Emma should, maybe y'all should get in the water and play. No, I'm joking. Just, that's a joke. Now, while, while you're there in your seats, let's not be spectators. Let's engage. When we're done here, we're going to begin our prayer meeting. And how many of you believe mountains will move? I do. So as you're sitting there, I just want you to be praying, praying in the Spirit, stretching your hands, just engaging. I'm going to ask Jesse to come. And uh, I want some intercessors around me. Wheelers, would you come? Stand here. Uh, if you're able to, Amy, I don't know how you're feeling. If you're not, you can stay there. Aaron and Amy, just stand back here. And when Haley gets back, she can come stand with us. All right. Who's over there with a the mic? All right. What's your name? Say, sir. Say, sir. Yeah. And where are you from? Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. Why are you being baptized tonight? Um, because I decided that I, I want to follow the Lord and it's a requirement to get in that water and die. And that, that's what I'm about to do right now. You should have taught on that. You should have done my job. That was perfect. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you, Lord. Wheelers, why don't you just come stand right here? All right. You want to hold it to him? <sighs> Say, sir, do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? I do. Do you renounce this world? I do. Do you renounce the devil himself? I do. And you'll live for Jesus forever? Yes. Caesar, tonight, it's our joy and honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, may the blessed power of the Holy Ghost come upon him. May your power and glory rest on him. Fill him with the blessed grace of the Holy Spirit. Seal him with the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord all the glory. Come stand here, here. Thank you, Lord. Baby, you want to stand right here? Hey, bud. How's it going? What's your name? Hudson. Hudson. Why are you being baptized? Thank you, Lord. Why are you being baptized, Hudson? I love Jesus. And uh, he says, if you love me, obey my commands. So I was commanded, so now I'm obeying. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Well done. <laughs> Just pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Hudson, 
Do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus? Yes. Till the day you die, you'll walk with him? Yes. Do you renounce this world? Yes, I do. Do you renounce the devil himself? I renounce the do devil. Do you yield your own will to the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. You live for him forever? Yes. Hudson, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed power of the Holy Ghost rest upon you. May the seal of the Holy Spirit fall upon you. May you know the Lord Jesus and be a witness to his name. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord all the praise. Hey, what's your name? Mateo. Mateo. Why are you being baptized? Because I want to follow Jesus and I want to be with him. <laughs> okay. Come on in, buddy. hands, Mateo. Mateo, are you going to live for Jesus forever? Yes. You're going to give him your entire life? Yes. Are you going to do your best to walk with him? Yes. And to never walk with the devil? Yes. Mateo, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now pray in the Spirit, everyone. May the blessed, come here, come here. May the blessed power of the Holy Ghost come upon this precious boy. Use him for your name's sake. Use him for your glory and honor. Cover him and clothe him with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' precious and holy name, amen. 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 Give the Lord all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Hi there. Hi. Are you Mateo's sister? Yes. Well, that's not your name. No. What's your name? Rebecca. Wow. Rebecca. Why are you being what, baptized? Because I want to follow Jesus forever and ever. Come on in. What a sweet soul. What a sweet spirit, huh? Rebecca. Will you live for Jesus forever? Yes. Will you give him your, your own will? Yes. Will you obey him above the world? Yes. Yes. Rebecca, tonight we baptize you. Can y'all pray in, in the spirit out loud? Tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come upon her, Lord. Receive the blessed grace of the Holy Ghost. The blessed grace of the Holy Spirit. Come upon her and clothe her and use her for your name's sake. Thank you for the privilege. Amen. Give the Lord all the praise. <laughs> you doing good, Brendan? <laughs> Why are you weeping? Yeah. Aren't we blessed? It's like a taste of heaven around here. 
What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. All these Bible names. <laughs> Can you sing, Holy Spirit, you're welcome? Softly. Why are you being baptized? Uh, I'm tired of being a prisoner to my past. Uh, it's been haunting me. <laughs> Get him in here, come on. Come on, Joshua. Come, come, come. Come now. Sing that, church. Every voice, come on, every voice, every voice, sing that. Omnipotent Father. <laughs> Father of mercy. Everything's new now, Joshua. Keep singing. <laughs> Lift it just a little now, every voice. Holy Spirit. softly Judy Joshua do you renounce the world yes do you renounce the devil yes say God. It. say I renounce the devil I renounce the devil I rebuke the devil say I renounce this world I renounce this world do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus Christ yes I do I give my entire life will to you, you live Father for God. him until the day you die yes I will live for him until the day I die Father Joshua God. tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son pray in the spirit of him and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come upon him, Lord, in your power. In the blessed power of the Holy Ghost. Fill him. Clothe him. Clothe him. Clothe him. Sing it, church. Yeah. Praise you, Lord. Give the Lord all the glory. All the glory. What's your name? Josh. And why? Wow, another one. Why are you being baptized? I, I feel the Lord's been leading me to this water for a while, and I want to be obedient and put this man in the grave once and for all. Oh, well, you better take those glasses off. Come on in. Welcome, Josh. Josh, sing that church gently. Josh, do you renounce this world? Yes. Do you renounce the devil? Yeah. Do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. Will you live for him until the end of your days? Absolutely. Josh, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing that church. May you receive the blessed power and presence of the Holy Spirit, the blessed grace of the Spirit. Keep worshiping all over the house. Fill him with divine life, Father. Sing that again, lift it a little now. of the Holy Spirit, Josh. May you walk with Jesus all your days. In Jesus' name.
Jesus mighty name Amen Amen Give the Lord all the praise All the praise What's your name? Olivia. Olivia, why are you being baptized? One year later, in my room, come a cloud, and Jesus said, be baptized, and I want to be baptized because Jesus died for me. Okay, we'll get in. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you, Olivia? Seven. Seven. You can stand, but you don't have to. It's up to you, all of you. If you feel like you need to, you can. Who's this guy? <laughs> this is my son, David. Your son, David. He wants to watch. Yeah. Good. You want to come closer? Yeah. You're next, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Olivia, can you look at me and give me your hand, sweetie? Olivia, are you going to live for Jesus forever? Yes. And you'll say no to the devil every day, huh? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> yes to Jesus, no to the devil, okay? Say yes. Yes. Okay. Are you going to follow Jesus forever? Yes. Okay. Olivia, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessed gift and grace of the Holy Spirit. Touch her and keep her. Seal this life. Uh, thank you. I will see her in heaven one day as a shining light. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Give her all the praise. <laughs> He's still looking at the water. He liked that. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. What year are you at school? A second year. Your second year, yeah. And why are you being baptized? Um, I was baptized when I was really little, and I didn't know what it meant. And now I know Jesus, and I just want to give him everything because he's given me everything. Amen. His whole life for me. Mm. So. Come on. There is a river. It flows from deep within. Let's sing that. There is a fountain. There is a fountain. It frees the soul. It frees the soul from sin. Oh, come to the waters. Vast supply. There is a vast supply. There is a river. There is a river that never shall run dry. Sing that again. There's a river. There is a river that flows from deep. There is a fountain that frees the soul. Frees the soul from sin. Isn't that wonderful. So come. come to this water. 
Elizabeth, do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus? Yes. Do you renounce this world? Yes. Do you renounce the devil himself? Yes. Will you walk with Jesus all your days? Yes, I will. Until your last and dying breath? Yes. Elizabeth, tonight it's our honor and privilege truly to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing that. Receive the grace and seal of the Holy Spirit. Be clothed and filled with the Holy Spirit. Sing that again. There's a river. Hallelujah. your name? Jan. What is it? Jan. Spell that? J-A-N. J-A-N. Yeah. Okay. Why are you being baptized? Well, I'm 33 years old, never been baptized, never got to know him. And the first time I ever stepped in the prayer room and just looked at the lake and listened to Buddy on the guitar, <laughs> I just cried like a little girl and felt this energy come over me. And What did I, that feel like? Amazing. Can you explain it? is just a lot of tears, a lot of emotion, and every drive home just felt like something just came off me. Whoa. Did you feel like power going through you? Yeah. Like electricity or heat or what? Just inexplainable. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's time to leave all my sins, my darkness, and my failures in the past. Sing it. this world. Keep singing, Judy. Yes. You renounce the devil. Yes. And will you walk with Jesus all your days? Yes. Tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the blessed power of the Holy Ghost come upon us. Fill him and clothe him. Let this be just the beginning. In Jesus' holy and mighty and precious name. Amen. Give the Lord all the praise. Is that, who's that? That's your dad. Wow. Come on, give the Lord the praise. This is wonderful. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you from? I'm originally from New Jersey, but I moved down here about eight years ago. And why are you being baptized? So, on my first day here, October 22nd, 2023, I was saved right there. I remember your faith. Yeah. Yeah. I was saved. And, um... Because of Patricia Mead and her husband Jesse, they brought me here. And my first day here, I just ran into the Lord. And I just can't, I have to keep going. I have to, like, I love Him so much. And I just I have to. Thank so you, that's Lord. why I'm here. And I just, okay. I just in. know. Enough. That was 
her name again? Her name? Jennifer? Was that your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, will you follow the Lord Jesus all your days? Yes. Do you renounce this world? Yes. Do you renounce the devil? Yes. Will you follow Jesus until your last breath? Yes. Jennifer, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the precious Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and power of the Holy Spirit come upon you. May you know his touch all your days. May you walk in his glory and presence. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 I feel the winds shifting. Let's just set our hearts on Jesus now, church. Can all of you just pray in the Spirit all over the house? Out loud, pray. Everyone. Why don't you take the next minute and pray in tongues? Thank you, Lord. What's your name? My name is Vinette. Vinette? Vinette. With a V. That's with a V, correct. And why are you being baptized tonight? So I'm really you guys hungry just keep praying. for the road of light of God. I've been on the journey of the darkness. And I just really, I've recommitted myself when I came here first last year, late last year. And I just want to continue on that journey. With Jesus. With Jesus. Come. Is this your, are you related? Come. What's your name? Good to meet you. Are you happy? What is that? It's my, it has my initials in my, I went to Mexico and got it on. Can you take that off? Sure. You want to walk in the light of Jesus, right? Yes. Pray in the Spirit. Yeah. Vinette. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Ah. Pray in the Spirit, everyone. Vanette, I want you to repeat after me. I renounce the devil. I renounce the devil. I renounce darkness. I renounce darkness. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce the ways of this world. I renounce the ways of this world. I renounce every lying devil. I renounce every lying devil. And I come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The crucified and risen Lord. The crucified and risen Lord. And I yield my life. And I yield my life. The entirety of my being. The entirety of my being. To you, precious Jesus. To you, precious Jesus. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. And I plead your precious blood. And I plead your precious blood. Take me. Take me. Holy Lord. Holy Lord. All my days. All my days. In Jesus' mighty In name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Vinette, tonight we baptize you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Through the seal of the Holy Ghost. Everyone just pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. 
What can wash away my sin? Come on, sing of the blood. Jose, get up there. Go, band, go. Get the band up there. The whole band, go. Thank you, Lord. Sing that again. Hit those drums. Hit those drums. Father, clothe her in your precious glory. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. What's your name? Sasia. Prince? Sasia. Oh, Sasia. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Why are you being baptized? Where are you from? I'm from Haiti. Haiti? Yes. And why are you being baptized today? Um, my entire life, God's hand has always been over me. And He called me home. So. I have to obey, and he has always kept me alive. <laughs> I have to do what need, what, what's needed to, to be with him, and I'm come. here in obedience. Come, come, come. <laughs> Sasha, do you renounce this world? Do you renounce the devil? Yes. Do you give your entire life to the Lord Jesus Christ forever? I'm all in. Sasya, tonight we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, come upon her in power. Clothe her in your spirit. Thank you for a life in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Is that everyone? Can we give the Lord all the praise? Judy, will you lead us? Let's sing that. Every voice. give the Lord all the glory, all the glory, all the glory. Thank you, Lord. Are you all ready to pray? I feel the Lord. The Lord has an agenda regarding our prayer. So how many of you were here two weeks ago? You'll discover that the, the waves of God will come and He will inspire us what to pray. And He will strengthen us through it. There'll be ebbs and flow to that sweet anointing. That's what David writes. Deep calleth unto deep. 
He compares it to waves billowing and the sound of thy many waterfalls, thy water spouts. There's a, a flow to the presence of God, and we need to become children of that flow. That's our home, his presence. So if you need to sit right now, you can. Some of you have been standing a long time. If you like to stand, you may. If some of you want to get in the back there and maybe you're more comfortable walking or, you know, uh, there's, there's, there's room for freedom. There's no room for flesh, and that's fine. There's room for freedom, though. And so I want us to just begin by asking the Holy Spirit what we should do. Lord, your word says that. Emma, can you start playing those strings? Just give me a big full pad, Joel. There we go. Lord, your word says that Holy Spirit, you would remind us of everything Jesus said to us. And your word says that we know not what to pray, but the Spirit, the Spirit, you wonderful Holy Spirit, you help us in our weakness. And so we declare tonight, we are weak vessels. Catch us up into your will tonight and use these vessels of clay to accomplish your will on the earth. Fill us. Come on, just begin to bless them. Begin to sing in the Spirit all over the room. Just begin to sing in the Spirit all over the room. If some of you want to come to the altar, you may. The altar's open. Just begin to sing in the Spirit. If you want to get on your knees, on your face, you may. If you need to get to the altar, just tell the person next to you, I'd like to get up there. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy. Baby, would you start praying? Lord, hungry, yielded. Father, I ask that you will teach us to surrender everything, Lord. If we've been holding back anything, God, from holy, you, Lord, holy, we ask, holy. holy Spirit, that you will help us give it all to Jesus. We don't want to hold anything back from you, Lord. I thank you, God, that you will purify your bride, God, that you will strip away all the things, the lesser lovers, all the idols we've built up in our hearts, God, that you will strip them away, God, that you will help us crucify our flesh in Jesus' name and kill this repetitive sin. I just feel like there's so many people that there's repetitive sin in your life and you've been trying to do it in your own strength. But Jesus is saying, bring your sin, bring your darkness, bring your shame to me because in my light, there can be no darkness. I eliminate all darkness in my presence. So Holy Spirit, help us to do that. We do not want to go through the cycle, the cycle of life of trying just to keep a Above water, Lord. We want to give you our issues, God. We want to give you our mess, Lord. We don't want to be a perfect, uh, fake Christian, God. We want to be real, God. We want to bring you our real, authentic selves. So, Holy Spirit, we cannot do that without you. So teach us to do this, Lord, right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone in this church. I plead the blood of Jesus over our children, over our parents, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over this ministry, Lord, that you've trusted us with, Lord. I plead the blood over our teams, God, over our worship team, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over our school, God. I thank you, Father, for your precious blood, Lord, that applies over every part of our life, God. We thank you for the blood. The blood. Blood. We thank you, God, that it strips all things Mentee down, Lord, that don't belong, God. I thank you, God, that every area, every area of doubt, Lord, that you will bring faith in our life like never before, God. Faith, God, to raise the dead. Faith to move mountains, God. Awaken this love in our heart, God. First love. First love in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. 
do it, Lord. Do it in us, Father. We thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Holy, holy, we bless holy. your name, King Jesus. God, we Spirit. bless your name, King Jesus. Give you all the glory. All Holy the Spirit, glory. I pray, Lord, that you would come and awaken your bride. Holy Spirit, come and breathe your breath, God, into earthen vessels, Lord. Lord, would you break up fallow ground, Lord, where it's become dry and hard. It is only your water that satisfies. Lord, would you let your river flow in this place and into this nation, Lord. Would you let your river flow into your church, God, where people are dry and thirsty and living in darkness and don't even know, God. Lord, would you fill our empty tradition with an awakening of your spirit to the reality of the cross and the resurrection and the ascension of Christ the Lord. Holy Spirit, would you make us dependent on you? Would you make us yielded vessels, Lord? God, we repent, Lord, if there's any place, God, in the church where we have put structure in front of your spirit, where we have put form in front of your spirit, Lord, I pray, God, for the American church, Lord. I pray, God, that we would come to our knees hungry, God, desperate, Lord, like little children realizing that we have form but we have no power. God, we declare that it is not by might nor by power, but by your Spirit. Holy Spirit, could you awaken us, Lord, to the gospel of Jesus. Where the gospel has become a story, Lord. Holy Spirit, would you awaken us to the reality of the living Christ in our midst. Where we would eat the whole lamb, God. Where we would eat the bitter and the sweet, Lord. Lord, let us be those, God, children that receive your discipline, Lord. Come, Lord, and prune us, God. Bring your discipline, God, that we would grow and be fruitful, Lord. God, we don't want to hang on to anything, Lord, that is not bearing fruit, Lord. Jesus, as you bring your winnowing fork to clear the threshing floor, God, we invite your spirit to blow away the chaff, to blow away the disease, to blow away the excess, God. Jesus, would you lift up the seed? To the, to the wind, would you lift up your seed to the wind of the Holy Spirit? Would you lift up our lives, God, to the wind of your Spirit? Holy Spirit, would you fill your church? Would you fill your people, Lord? Would you touch us, God? Agree, agree. Fill us, Lord, afresh. Fill us afresh. Keep praying, Haley. Lord, would you consecrate us with your fire? Lord, we do not want to resist your fire, God, but would you take us deeper and deeper still as we go lower and lower still, God? May we not crave friendship, God, before we have entered into your Lordship, God. May we not crave intimacy, Lord, until we have gone lower into your kingship, God. Lord, we want to know you as master, God, before we know you as friend so that we can truly enter into union with you. Take us deep into your heart, Lord, like you prophesied in 1 Samuel 2, 35. When you saw the priesthood, you said, I will raise up one who will do what is in my heart and in my soul. Lord, would you raise up a generation, God, that so longs to get lost Amen. in your heart, Lord, that they're willing to enter into Amen. mystery, God. Oh, God, would you begin to grip the hearts of your people again? Ruin us, God, for one thing, and that is for you, Jesus. Ruin us, God, for any appetites, Lord, that want to distract or take us away from the one thing that's needed, Lord. One thing. Come, Holy Spirit. We need you, Spirit of God. We need you. We need you. We need you. Fill God. this church, Father. We need you, God. Mm-hmm. 
I see the hand of the Lord in individual lives and He's taking the winnowing fork and He's lifting up your life to the wind. I feel like many of you in this room, it's felt like a season of sifting. It's felt like there have been things that the Lord has been asking for. And in, and in a resistance, sometimes you have busied yourself with other things because you recognize that there's a new cost that is on the table. And I see the Lord saying, if you will let me, if you will let me lift your life to the wind, you will know life evermore. You would know a life you have never known. I see the Lord calling a remnant. I see Him calling a remnant that will be completely given to Him. But first He wants to lift the seed of your life to the wind of the Spirit. And He wants to let the excess come off. Good things, things that you have that you have done for the Lord, things that are gifts that you have. The Lord says in this season, I will ask even for your strength because in your weakness there you are strong. That the Lord is wanting to make us a broken people because He's wanting to fill us and show His glory to the world. I believe that right now, if that is you, if you're like, I am being sifted, I feel and I've been resisting, I just want to invite you to raise both hands in the air right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, we don't want to resist you, Lord. We don't want to resist the beckon to go lower, God. We don't want to resist the wooing of your heart, Lord. So Holy Spirit, right now, God, would you empower us with courage to say yes, Lord? Would you empower us, God, with the courage to go lower and lower still as we go deeper and deeper into your heart? Lord, I pray, God, that you would raise up a generation that would set themselves aside, God, that would not be distracted by the things of the world, Lord. And when you say, put your phone down, that we would respond, Jesus. God, make us in love with your word. Make us study as God of the scriptures, Lord, that we might be awoken to the resurrected Christ in our midst. God, I pray that you would make us zealous for your house, Lord. When you declared in Isaiah that the zeal of the Lord would accomplish it, I pray, Lord, that you would birth the zeal of God in your people, that the zeal of the Lord would be birthed by the yes. Spirit inside of us, God, and that we would not resi resist your zeal, God, because of the fear of man. What well, we just declared today, the fear of man bows at the name of Jesus. Let your zeal be birthed in us, Lord, and I'm compromising, yes, God, that says no matter what the cost, Jesus, I say yes to you. Amen. Something about that name. Jesus. Every voice. Master, now come on. Master, Savior, Jesus. Like the fragrance. Like the fragrance. Allison, come up. Lift your voices just a bit now. Jesus. Sing that. Take your mic. Let all heaven. time lift the instruments lift your voices every voice in one accord Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is something about precious master
look straight at him now and sing that again, Jesus. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms. that again unless you're on your knees or your face I'm gonna ask you to stand for this part sing that again Judy Jesus, 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 Jesus there is something about that name. master a little now lift your voices oh, that's it a little more that's it that's it kings and kingdoms God, Lord. Our wonderful God, Heavenly Father, we bless your name, Lord. Lift your hands and bless his name, people of God. We bless your holy name, O God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We bless your name, wonderful Jesus. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Blessed be your mighty name forevermore. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here. In the hearts of your wonderful people, to you be the praise. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful, wonderful presence. And mighty, mighty anointing. Thank you, Lord. Dearest Jesus, we come tonight asking you, Lord, that you will speedily fulfill your plan. Quickly, Lord, fulfill your will. Not only in our lives, but in your work. And Lord, there's nothing impossible with you. You are God Almighty. The word impossible does not exist with you. You are God. Mighty God of Israel, you are God. You are the one who brought Israel out of Egypt. You are the one who led them through the wilderness. You are the one who fed them with manna from heaven for 40 years. You are the one who gave them the promised land. You're the one who blessed them and prospered them and increased them on every side. And you sent your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for that. And everything you've promised, you have fulfilled. All your promises. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you just lift your voices and pray out loud in the Holy Ghost? Maru kanta palba mianta kanti mene. Mere mere pilbil alfetro mianta kinti ma. More more kinti pelbe. Oh, we bless your holy name. Turn our hearts towards you, Lord. Bend them towards you, Lord. Create in each one of us a clean heart, a pure heart, a heart filled with heavenly fire, Holy Ghost, power and fire. We cannot trust our own hearts, Lord. We cannot trust ourselves. Our trust is in you. We cry out with David, create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Never, ever cast us away from your presence. Never, ever take your Holy Spirit from us. Restore, restore, restore the joy of our salvation. Hold us up with a willing heart and spirit. So we will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will come to the cross. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray first of all for your work in this place. Fulfill the vision you've given, Michael and Jessica. And Lord, fulfill it on time. On time. On time in Jesus' name. What you've done years ago in this building, Lord, increase it 10 times. Oh, come on, agree with me. Increase it 10 times. What you did in this very building in the 80s, in the 90s, increase it 10 times. Tenfold. Tenfold in Jesus' name. There's no limit to your power. There's no limit to your power. Lord, we're not going to limit you to a double portion. You're the God that has no limit. We give you praise, Lord. We're not asking for a double portion. For you give the Holy Spirit without measure. We'll not limit you to two. We will not limit you to a double portion. We're not going to ask for a cupful when the ocean belongs to us. Hallelujah. Forgive us for limiting you, Lord. Forgive us for putting limits on your power. There is no limit to your glory. There is no limit to your power. Forgive us, Lord, for the times we limited you. Ask you for a cupful when the ocean is ours. Hallelujah. We take off. We take off the limits today. We take off the limits. People of God, lift your hands and say, we take off the limits. No more limits in the spirit. No more limits in the spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we have the picture of the property up there for just a second, please? Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Don't stop. No limits. No limits, no limits. Look, look, I stood on this platform years ago when this building was dedicated by Kenneth Copeland. He flew in from Texas, mm. 84, and he spoke this. He said, God will shake the world from here. Well, he's still doing it. Yeah, amen. So why are we so surprised? Now stretch your hands towards this. Lord, in Jesus' name, speed things up. Come on, let's believe God. Lord, speed things up. No more delays. No more this and that. Speed it up, Lord, for your glory. Lord, I declare this year construction will begin. Come on, believe it. This year, construction, and quickly, Lord, quickly. 
we declare right after Easter it will begin activity will start after this Easter in the name of Jesus we speak it we declare it in Jesus holy and glorious name now I want you all to pray in the spirit for five minutes well wait towards the screen with your hands outstretched pray out Thank loud you, in the Holy Ghost believe in God where's Carla no more delays come here Carla come on Carla where where are you she's yeah, right there yeah. she needs wisdom and grace Thank you, Lord. Thank Lord, you. give her wisdom. And Ryan, wisdom, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give them boldness and give them wisdom in Jesus' name. Give them that vision of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Let them see with the eyes of heaven what this property will be like. Not with their own eyes, but the eyes of heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, give Carla heavenly boldness, heavenly wisdom, with a heavenly vision, with heavenly fire in her heart, her being, her soul, and her mouth. That she will see in the Holy Spirit. She will not allow delays that, that come and go in the natural. This is the work of the Holy Ghost. This is your work. This is not our work. Your work. Your work. Mm. Your work. And Lord, we demand in the Spirit no more delays. Yes. I say we demand. Say we demand. In the Spirit. In Jesus' name. No more delays. We drive away all obstacles. Every one of them goes. And we declare after Easter action will begin in Jesus name now give me a big shout you know you know why come here, come here. I, now I know you like to shout here I know like Michael Michael come here I know you like to shout here but God showed me a revelation one day back in the 80s from the Psalms shout Shouts not only tear, tear big walls down, it brings God on the scene. That empty, uh, that balcony years ago was empty. When we moved into this building in 83 or 84, this thing was empty. Hold downstairs full, but this is empty. It stayed empty for like eight, maybe nine months. And when the Lord spoke to me on this platform, sending it, He said, Tell the people to turn around and shout towards the balcony it, you know it didn't make sense to me like what uh, like why he said have him shout and and the shout was victory we had to say victory victory and as they began shouting victory something broke in there it just broke in this in this building and then I began declaring maybe Debbie Gibbs and Kathleen I hear wait you guys were there weren't you Come here, up here. Come on. So they know we're not lying to them. Come on. I had people turn around and greet people up there who were not there yet. That it's true. Yes. What, 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 did I, what did I say? Well, the balcony was empty and you had us turn around and prophesy to fill the balcony, to call people in and to fill the balcony. I remember that. How long after that it, it filled up? I, I, I don't know that part. Less than, less than six months it was, it was, it was packed. Debbie, you, you were there. Less than six months, that thing was packed. And, and the shout that went up was incredible. This is going to be bigger. Than, no, wait, wait. Then you ever, then you could dream, honey. You, you could even believe. He will do exceeding. Say exceeding. Abundantly. Above. All. 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 We can ask. Now, you see that it means we have no faith for the big things. That's where God comes in. All we ask or even think, you can't even imagine what God will do here. Had someone told me, look, look at Judy's face, she's an angel, that girl. Had someone told me when we started that we would see thousands line up out there, I would say, no way. But they did. Came from all over the world. It's going to happen 
Hello. Tenfold. Say it. But it will not begin till you're there. It's not, it will not, I, I, I've been telling you from day one, it will not happen here. This is, well, anyways, it's God's plan over there. It's going it, to, it's going to hit when you move in that building. Here, only maintaining, okay, only keeping things going. You got to get there. So we become, are you listening? No, I'm talking to my daughter. I know you're listening. <laughs> I, I want to make sure she's listening. We have to become bold. There is power when you become bold. It's time to get bold. So take the limits off. Now, I want you all to stretch your hands and scream, no limit. One more time. One more time. In Jesus' name. Say it again. Wait, wait, wait. In Jesus' name. You, you're going to say, in Jesus' name, seven times. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Shout it. Now, Lord, it's done. No limit. Say no limit. Now, people always ask for double portion. No, no, no. That's old covenant. That's Old Covenant. The Spirit was given to the Lord without measure. There was no limit put, put on Him. He is our Lord. We are His body. No limit. Even on your life, no limit. So right now, what, what we're going to do, we're going to begin praying in the Holy Ghost for another few minutes, okay? You feel free to walk around. You, you can pray way better walk, walking around than you can, you know, doing whatever. So pray in the, in the Holy Ghost and pray for speed, for quick movements on the property. Okay? Let's go. Come on. In the Spirit, in the Spirit, you pray that things will happen quickly now. Everything from this night on will change from slow to fast. Okay, Jose, you like that? It's a deal, brother. Things have been going slow. In the spirit, it's got to, look, look, I know you, I, I know they're doing all that they can. I know, I know. But we have to do something now spiritually here. Lord, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Come on, people of God, pray in the Holy Ghost. We know what we're, we know what we're praying for. Activity, 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 activity. Spiritual movement brings on natural movements. When things happen in the spirit, they happen in the natural. Thank you, Lord. 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 No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. Quick thinking, Lord. Quick movement in the spirit in Jesus' mighty name. What is that young lady who was praying? Come on. Come on back, darling. Can I give you a mic? Go, go, go. Come on. We need you. Thank you, Lord. We just declare grace, grace. You say to this mountain, grace, grace, and it will be thrown into the sea, Lord. We just declare that the valleys will be raised up and the mountains will be brought low, God. We just declare no delay, Lord. We ask for favor with city officials, Lord. We ask for favor with planning commission, God. We ask for favor, Lord, for, for the plans to come to the surface, Lord, and for them to be approved, Jesus. Lord, we pray protection over the leadership in this house, Lord. We pray protection over the teams and the volunteers, God, and those who serve in the house, Lord. We speak protection over their families, over their hearts and over their minds, Lord. We speak protection over their relationships, Lord. God, I pray, Lord, that you would bind this house together by the power of your Spirit under one head and the head is Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you are moving, God, and you are pouring the oil of anointing out over the head of this church, Lord, and Jesus, the anointing will drip from his head and down his beard and unify, God. It will unify Unify the people, God, and lead us within this region, Lord, that you're bringing, God, that the Lord is calling this house a well. It's calling it a well for leaders to come and drink from. And you're uncovering the wells that the Lord has dug in this region, and leaders are going to come and drink from this well. Lord, I come against every assignment of the enemy to bring uh, to bring disunity, God, wherever the enemy is trying.
trying to sow seeds, God, in a good field. We pluck them out right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare a great harvest, a great harvest that none of the wheat will be disturbed, Lord. But it will grow to full maturity, God. And it will be harvested for the sake of your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Pastor Maxims, up here. Keep praying, keep praying. This is a pastor from Bulgaria. Has the largest work in Bulgaria. Pray, pray. Come on, brother. Come on, Father, we thank you, mighty Holy Spirit. Mighty Holy Spirit, we thank you for spirit development. We release spirit development. We pray that your angels will be released. We pray that provision will be released. Father, right now, everything that's holding this project back, every power of the enemy that is standing against this project, we remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we prophesy speed. We prophesy speed development. Quickly, Lord. Quickly, Lord. Like the psalmist prayed, we say quickly, Lord, come and help. Quickly, Lord, come and move. Quickly, Lord. Open doors, we prophesy, open doors, surprising developments, surprising blessings, surprising provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, right now, we come around, Michael and Jessica, and we raise their hands, we raise their hands, just like the hands of Moses, we raise their hands, and we say that their arms will not be weary, their arms will not be weary, Amalek will be broken. The enemy is broken. The enemy is defeated. And we speak right now full and complete victory in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, the Messiah. Hallelujah. Yes. Four nights ago, I have it written in my journal. Please tell them. I had a dream. And in this dream, I was in your old house which now I understand is this house because this is your old house. And in this dream, I was in your old house and you were saying, I have amazing news to share with the world. Let's go live on Facebook. And I said, what are these news? And you told me in the dream, Michael and Jessica have a new home. You said, Michael and Jessica have a new home. And as we were praying there, I heard the Spirit of the Lord said, Whoever is doing the negotiations with the municipality, you have to be there. Because I don't know if you are there in, when you have to negotiate or you have a person who is there uh, uh, like representing you. But I really felt that you have to be there because the anointing is on you for this to happen. And just as a witness of this, six years ago, we were standing in a conference in Sofia, Bulgaria in a building that we wanted to acquire. The owner said, Is your no. wife here? Yes, this is Come my on, wife right there. come here. We were just standing like this six years ago in a building that we wanted to acquire. I spoke to Pastor Benny. I said, Pastor, we really want this building. We are growing so much. We need this building. They I were remember. Not, they were not even selling the building. I remember. And then Pastor Benny said, now we're going to do something crazy. We're going to pray for this building. We're going to lay hands on the How floor. How many years was that? It's like five or six years ago. So the owners didn't wait, want to wait, sell it to us. What? On the, on the walls and on I the floor. I remember. Yes. And then we pray for, for this building. Then they, they didn't want to sell it to us. They end up selling it to some secular people. It was owned by a big denomination. They sent it to these secular people who wanted to demolish this building and build apartments because it's in the heart of the city. And we began to pray and went to talk to these people who are completely secular. And I told them, this was built to be a church. And it was prophesied by a great general of God that this will be a church where revival will flow for Europe and the world because that's what you prophesied when you prayed. I said, you don't want to do this great sin to destroy this building. And the fear of God came upon these businessmen. And now we are the owners of that church. We moved in. We moved in. December of 2023 and we opened uh, uh, it was like the soft launch whatever you want to call it we'll have the official op opening in August and I was going to talk to you about it tonight to invite you because you know it's kind of special for us but when we went in 
We opened the building with that prophecy where you said, I prophesied that this building will you be You showed it? I showed it. This is how we opened the service. We had so many people come. It was packed, packed. It's been packed ever since. We're in revival there now. So now we are the owners of this church. So Father, we agree that just as you did this for us in Eastern Amen. Europe, in a former communist country, with supernatural provision for under 12 months, Father, we agree that you will move speedily, supernaturally, that you will open doors for Michael and Jessica and for Jesus' image to acquire and own this property for the glory of Jesus the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Now, now, Amen. Let, me, let me tell you about this amazing, dynamic young man. We were in uh, Thessalonica years and years ago, yes. and uh, what over a thousand Bulgarians came to the service, and I had I, and I did not have an interpreter for the Bulgarian people. We had one for the Greek people, and he jumped up. How 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 old were you? You were just a. I was twenty. Twenty. Yes. And he began where the fire of God hit, and now he's the pastor of the largest ministry in Bulgaria, <laughs> and it's incredible what God is doing. And what I prophesied over there, I prophesied more than once over here. So why don't you believe it? Yeah. Well, I know you do, but you gotta, he, he's not here by chance. And they just moved into their new building December of last year, just to encourage you. Look. And I wrote this in my journal, literally four days ago. And it was very weird in my dream because I was in your old house and you were like showing me and you said, we should go live from this property. And I asked, but where are M Michael and Jessica? We're going live from this place. Where are Michael and Jessica? And you said, oh, don't worry about them. They have their new home. This is what you wow. told me. Well, they have their new home. It's right there. Amen. But now the, the thing is, I know in the, in the natural, now you, you've got to hear this. In the natural, it's been going fast. In their opinion, they've done all they can. But we have to accelerate in the spirit because the work of God needs it. Because of what's happening in this messy world, we need the light that will shine through that place. And this place here, only maintenance, like we're, we're keeping things moving. When you move in that, get ready. Yeah, God, man, I feel it all over me. Come on, let's, let's praise him. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Can you lift up the instruments, please, Joel? Lord, we praise you. We praise you that you're going to do it. You're going to open the windows of heaven. Your blessings will descend with such power, such might, such glory, such speed, such elegance, such glory. In the name of Jesus, the floodgates will open wide. No more trickling here and trickling there. The floodgates will open wide in Jesus' mighty name. For your honor and glory. The day will come. Listen, the day will come. You'll have 10,000 students. I just saw it. It won't happen here when you go in there. 10,000 students will come from around the world. This is not something small. No, no. God always does it big, and it's time you take the lid off. Take the limits off. Not only in your ministry, but even in your minds as God's people here. And you young people, no limit for you either. God's work for you will be way higher than you'll ever imagine. Because the need is great. Greater darkness, greater need, greater light. And out there, look at this mess out there. The world needs the light of God. And it's going to have to happen. And it's, it's, it's this. You are today, you've become, whether you like it or not, you, you have become an example of what God can do with the kids. With the, worldwide. Worldwide. And this is, and look. He'll, he'll tell you, I'm not just saying because I'm your dad. He'll tell you what I'm, what I'm seeing around the world. They all watch Jesus' image and copying you. Why not? <laughs> Some people have tried to copy me and failed because nobody can, can, 
can copy my accent. <laughs> All my looks either. A lot of Benny Hinn's there, but there's only one I know, it's me. But they're copying what God is doing here, and that's wonderful, why not? Okay? So, it's time. Listen, I, I came tonight for one reason. I, because this morning, I spent two hours in the presence of God this morning. And I'm telling you, my room was going to explode. And I'm here to tell you what I know from the Lord. It's time to take the limits off. Because the, if you don't believe it, God will not do it. He just won't do it. Remember this. The devil sees you the way you see yourself. Do you remember the story in the book of Numbers? They saw themselves as grasshoppers. And that's the way the enemy saw them, as grasshoppers. It's time we see who we are in Jesus. We are not grasshoppers. We are the head, not the tail. Above, not beneath. There is no limit to what God will do with us. No limit. Are you listening, people? No limit. Lift your hands and say, Lord, no, no limit for my life. No limit. No limit. In Jesus' name, no limit. Hallelujah. Okay, it's all, um, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. You guys can stay. Stay. Can we give the Lord praise? I want you to seal that with praise. And look, look. I believe the Lord has spoken to us as a church family. Pastor Benny will tell you, none of this was planned. He was in the back. And I said, bring him a chair. I want him to be out here. You can't plan something like this. I had no, no idea Pastor Maxim would, had a dream. He, we spent time together today in the back with him and Theodora. Theodora is my grandmother's name. His wife has my grandmother's name. It's amazing. I felt an instant connection with them. We just met today. I had no idea they had that dream. Now listen carefully. You might have seen me proactively receiving those words out loud and agreeing with them. Being like Mary, according to your word, O oh Lord, let it be done. It's sinful in God's presence to not receive those types of words. You'll be we, we could be judged for it. And God will take it and give it to someone else. But as the pastor of this house, I say yes, yes and amen. It's not about, look, if we have 10,000 students, that's 10 times greater challenges than we have now. God will take care of it. Yes and amen to the will of the Lord. Amen? amen? Judy, I want you to, come on. I want us to seal this with praise. All your promises in, are yes and amen. You know that? Straight into the chorus. I want full band though, full band. Don't play like we're at a wake. It's in a funeral. Yeah. Come on, I want you to hit it. And Jose, you go to work on those things. Look, 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 look. Five more minutes. I want us to seal this with praise, okay?
Before we started these Sunday nights five years ago, the Lord told me, give the opportunity for repentance and salvation in every meeting, or I will not send the lost to your meetings. So when every head bowed and eye closed, Jesse whispered to me, babe, we haven't done that yet. We all sense the presence of the Lord. Just still your hearts for a moment. No one moving, no one leaving. Friends, listen. Tonight you witnessed prisoners, sons and daughters of darkness, repent and come into these holy waters of baptism and 
and set free. Many of you, under the sound of my voice, you're sitting in a building tonight, you're standing in this building, and you've come in with shame, you've come in with condemnation. For some of you, it's even hard to walk into a meeting like this. You get in, you feel better, you leave still chained, still shackled. The Bible says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. This is a real freedom I'm talking about. True freedom. Jesus promises to cleanse our conscience. That's what Colossians teaches us. Jesus promises to cleanse our walk and our hands and to give us a soft, pure heart in place of a hard heart. And some of you in this room have been trying to set yourselves free. As grateful as we are that you're here tonight, as honored as we are that you're here tonight, I want to say unequivocally to everybody watching online, I feel the blessed power of the Holy Spirit right now. I feel His pleasure. To those of you watching online, listen to me. You can't cleanse you. You can't wash you. You can't set yourself free. And there's a lie that's been believed by so much of the church that we need to live in bondage to sin and we'll never really be free until we die. That's true. If we're talking about the same death, the death I'm talking about is the death of the cross, not you breathing your last. If that were true, then death would be your savior and not Jesus. Jesus can set you free right here, right now. All of you addicted to porn, you don't have to leave addicted to porn. All of you chained with perversion, you don't have to leave the same way. All of you shackled with these cycles of sin that have been on your family for generations, that can change tonight and an entire family line can be redeemed right here, right now. And I want to ask you, I want to say to you, who has ever spoken these words? Listen, listen, every one of you, listen to me. Come unto me. All you who are tired or weary, who are heavy laden, if you're tired of carrying the weight of your own life, come unto me, Jesus said. He said, I will give you rest. He said, my yoke is easy. In other words, my teachings are easy. I'll do it. I'll speak to you. My yoke, my burden, it's light. If you're tired and heavy laden, come to Jesus tonight. He said, I will give you rest for your souls. With every head bowed and eye closed, you know you want rest. Something the world can't give you, something a song can't give you, something a conference, something Jesus' image cannot give you. Only Jesus can give you this rest. Others of you once burned for Jesus. That fire's gone out. And he misses you, friend. He misses you. He's not angry at you tonight. His arms are outstretched as the Lamb of God offering himself to you. If you're tired of that sin in your life, no one looking around, if you're tired of that sin in your life, if you're tired of not burning. You don't want to be spewed out of the mouth of the Lord, as the scripture says. I'll spew you out of my mouth if you're lukewarm, if you don't want that. You want to live a true Christian life, a life of freedom and fire and love for Jesus. I want you to lift your hand right now if you feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you all over the room. Lift both hands up. Look how many wonderful hands. We don't have room for an altar call, but I want us to pray this out loud. And I'm going to ask everyone to pray this loudly and in agreement. Are you ready? Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight having sinned against you. Cleanse my soul. Wash me in the precious blood of Jesus. I confess my sin. And you promised that if I would confess my sin, you are faithful and just to cleanse me of my sin and deliver me of all unrighteousness.
Wash me, precious Lord. Cleanse my soul. Set me free tonight. I repent. I turn from this world. I yield my own will. I renounce the devil. And I give my full allegiance to Jesus of Nazareth. And I declare tonight what is true, that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God, that Jesus lived a perfect and holy life, born of the Virgin, that Jesus suffered and died and shed His blood. Thank you for your blood. Cleanse me with your blood. Protect me with your blood. Surround me with your blood. And I declare and I believe that Jesus is alive today. That he was raised from the dead on the third day and has ascended to the highest place, to the right hand of the Father. That Jesus, oh, I feel this, that Jesus is King that he has filled all things with himself and today Jesus you're seated at the right hand of the Father and you're coming back again to judge the living and the dead find me ready Lord find me ready come and live in my heart and save my soul light my heart on fire Give me the gift of first love. I am yours. You are mine. In Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Give the Lord all the praise tonight. Mm. Come on, give him all the glory. All the glory. Wonderful Lord. What a mighty victory. Can we lift one more shout of praise? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday morning. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Good night. We believe that the nations will descend on this land. That the sick will be healed here. That the lost will be saved here. That the presence of the glory of God will rest here. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. That the mountains might shake at your presence. That the gospel will go forth from here. Shaking the earth for the glory of God. That the presence of Jesus Christ would dwell among us. Here we will enter into the peace of your presence. Here we will remain. Jesus said, remain in me and I in you. Here we will remain. This is holy ground. Where only one thing is needed, Jesus. May Jesus be pleased with all that takes place here. May he be adored and worshiped here. May his word be taught in clarity and love here as we tell the generations to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works He has done. May the generations come to find Him here. To find Jesus here. Here. Together we will build the house of God. And a home for His people.